bike. So next we're going to show you what's called the SERTI method. And what you do, here's my frame, you can use anything as a frame. So I'm just going to stretch this on here. And then what we're going to do is nail it on so that it'll be pulled tight. Put what's called the Gouda Resist. Uh, the one that I'm using comes in a tube. I just find that easier to manage. You also have some that you will apply with a bottle like this. And you can also use melted wax. I actually have a small crock pot that I keep wax in and I heat that up and I use an old brush and paint it on. Okay, now that I've applied the Gouda Resist, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of painting. As you can see, I kind of started. Uh, the trick with this is you don't want to go right up against the resist lines because it will bleed through. So I'll show you, you want to get about that far away from the line. And you see how it starts bleeding. Um, sometimes even at a distance it will bleed through, which could be an interesting effect if you're doing an abstract, which this obviously is an abstract. So I'm going to just start doing a little bit of painting. And here's another thing you can do. You can actually make it a little more watery and then you can apply different techniques. We're going to do right here. I'm going to use a regular rock salt that you use in your water softener. And it makes like a little crystalline effect, just like you would do if you were painting just on regular watercolor. So we'll see what that does. And when this dries, I'm also going to show you a technique using alcohol, just plain old everyday rubbing alcohol. Very cheap, works really well. Okay, while we're letting some of this dry, I've also added a little area with coarse salt. It comes like in a little pepper grinder type thing and you just kind of pour it on there, grind it, you know, and just kind of let it be there. The other thing I want to show you a little bit of is what's called the alcohol technique. Now with that, you just use your plain rubbing alcohol that you use every day for whatever. Um, I buy a lot of it to use for art. And I've got a different brush. It's kind of a round brush so I can kind of dot things on. So I'm going to dot a little bit of alcohol in various places. And if you look real close, you'll see that it sort of washes the paint away. But it gives it kind of an interesting effect. You can actually see like a definition. Okay, so lucky me, I get to help too right now. It's fun, it's playtime. Yay! Look, Cindy, I think we made an effalomp. I think we did. Got to use our imagination. There's the eye, there's the head. Here's our little blue trunk. Doesn't have to be the perfect color. And we have little pink legs because he's a very colorful effalomp. I and think, then he has all these colors in him too. I think Dr. Seuss would be very jealous of I us think right now. So, or he'd want to. So where we used the large pieces of salt, it did some interesting things. These are the big rock salt pieces I had. It gave you an effect like this, and another one like this, with kind of interesting lines going out of it. So there's a lot of things you can do with that. Then we used kind of a coarse ground salt all over here. And it gave some really interesting effects as well, especially if you look at this, it almost looks like little ocean waves. Go out and play and have fun and you might be really surprised at what you get. And remember, you can just put your PJs on and set up the kitchen for your art studio. So don't even worry about like the fact that you may need to have an art studio to be an artist or something like that. Just, you know, enjoy yourself and use your kitchen. Just let it happen, let it flow. Bye, everybody. Thanks bye for bye. joining the Wabakasawi Art you. Show.